What ho, adventurers! It's your pal Grim here, back with part two of how to create an interactive campaign starting screen with Foundry. In part one, we went over how to make the scene interactive and clickable, and in this part, we're going to go over animating the scene to kick that wow factor up another notch and give you and your players some eye candy and hopefully some inspiration. So let's get started. <laughs> So we have our scene, and now it's time to make it fancy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with some lighting effects. So you're going to go over here to the lighting and just click and drag to be about the size that you want it to be. If you hold shift down, you can move this around. Otherwise, it's going to snap to the grid. So we can place it exactly where we want, and we double click it. And that's good, that's good. Um, color, let's change the color to sort of match the color that she's got going on here. Sort of like a pale yellow. Hit enter. And then the effect that we want, we, we want, like, I think it's pulse that we want, right? Let's make this a little bit bigger. So we're at 0 0.62. Let's just go to one so that we can see it. Pulse and there's pulsing wave. Let's do pulsing wave. That looks a little bit cooler. Um, we'll pull down the intensity. So if you pull down the intensity, you see how it just makes it a little bit softer. And let's pull the speed down so it's not so fast. We just want it to pulse a little bit. Maybe we can bring the intensity down to, yeah, like that. Then we'll pull this color intensity down just a little bit so it's not so in your face. Just make it real subtle. I I personally think that it, the pictures look better if the lighting effects is just a little bit subtle. So now I'll hit update that light source. Now we're going to go here and we're going to do his sword. Um, so what I did in my original one is I actually made two, two different ones that were about they're like a half circle. But then you, you sometimes end up with some funky lines where they where they meet up. So rather than doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, again, hold shift to position it. We want it to be sort of the base of the blade is where I think the light would be the, the greatest. And we are going to go with try to match the color of the sword. And sort of like a that looks about right to me, maybe a little bit lighter. Hit enter. We're going to change this to torch. We're going to put the intensity way, way up. And the speed down. So put the speed up because we want it to flicker like crazy. Speed up and the intensity down. Turn down the intensity a little bit. Turn this down a little bit. Again, we just want subtle. All right, now what I also did is I put a couple little, little like, uh, oh, what are they called? Flares on the sword. So we're gonna do that. I put one down here. It, make sure it's, try to center on the blade. So what we did was I did the sunburst and I made this one pretty white. Turn the intensity down a little bit. Turn the speed down. And we'll turn this color intensity down a little bit because we, we just want it to be subtle. Let's, let's actually bring this down. Let's do the bright light radius of zero. And this will make 0.25. Then if we look at it, it just got a little tiny subtle. That might be a little too subtle. Yeah, something like that. And then I did the same thing on this guy. All 
I really wish that you could copy and paste the light sources. That would be awesome. Although, to be honest, I didn't try, but I'm assuming that you can. Actually, I think I did try. Um, so let's make this one more of the gold. Sunburst. That is definitely not the right color. We need to go a little bit more orange. A little bit more orange. There we go. Oh, we don't. I clicked that on accident. Let's do that. Let's bring the speed down again. And the intensity down. Bring this down a little bit. There, now we got a couple little blings. Okay, so the other thing that I did was I created a swirling fog men, uh, a swirling fog background or lighting element. Um, you can do that with the effects control, but I wanted I did it with the lighting. So what I do is I click and I make a really big light that will fill up the entire thing. I drag it down to the very bottom of the screen here. And we click it and we click swirling fog. And we try to pick one of these sort of colors. So I'm gonna go something like this. So yeah, that's a, that's a lot, right? That's crazy, but let's pull down the intensity. And the speed will make it nice and slow. And we'll pull this down just a little bit. So we just want this to be real subtle. Nice and subtle. Maybe maybe up the speed a little bit. There we go. All right, so that's it for the lighting effects. Now we're going to go to the effects master. And we're going to click weather. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. But we're, you can also get more effects with the special effects. But I haven't delved into that yet. Uh, but with the weather controls... We're gonna we're gonna do the clouds, and we're gonna put them down to about thirty density. Speed, we're gonna slow them down. Uh, the direction I believe I had was about thirty, and scale, and we're gonna colorize them again to be about the same color, be a little lighter. And we click this to tint it. So you check it to turn it on, make your adjustments, check tint. And now we should have clouds that start appearing at the top. Now you can see those. That might be a little bit too dense. Actually, it's the scale still a little bit too big. Let's drop that down to 30. And give it a second to start. There we go. Uh, so the next one that we do is we click weather again. We do the embers, check the embers, leave the density, you know, slow it, slow them down. Leave the direction I don't think really makes a huge difference. We're going to scale them down to, uh, let's say 30, and we're going to pick a green. I thought the green looked pretty cool. And now we'll have little tiny, see the little tiny dots floating around. We could even probably slow them down a little bit more. So to do that, we just click weather elements or the weather effects again. And let's um, slow them down a little bit more. Let's go to let's go to 15. And finally, the last effect is we want. Oh, you know what? No, we don't want the fog. So I tried that before. Yep, yep. So we have clouds and we have embers. And that is it. We don't want it getting too crazy in here. Essentially, just play with the settings until you get them where you like. Um, and mess around with, with the different controls and lighting settings. And just add them to your, to your background. Um, until it 
looks cool to you. And then the final touch is to add some music. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a playlist. Call it BG Music. I add a song. Title screen. We're going to, I have mine saved in assets, sounds, background music. And I obviously picked Thunder the Barbarian because Thunder the Barbarian is awesome. And set that up. And if you haven't seen Thunder of the Barbarian, I suggest you go give it. I think some episodes are available on YouTube, man. Give it a watch and then let me know what you think. It was one of my favorites growing up. Um, and then we go to the scene. And we edit it so that that playlist will start when we do it. Oh. Okay, let's stop that. We want this to be. I'm going to set it on loop because I just want that music to play the whole time you're on here. But then let's also set the volume a little bit lower so it's not so in your face. And there it is. I think that we could probably make the, the foreground fog a little bit more bright. So let's, oh, and it didn't, unreal. So this didn't save our freaking settings either. So this is swirling fog. Pull this down. We want it nice and slow at around two. Turn the intensity down. And turn this intensity down a little bit. There we go. And there, now we've got a really moody scene. We've got our embers flying around. Let me just double check all these stupid lights. All right, that's still going. Got a little bit bigger so you can see it a little bit more. And there you have it. Voila! A moody starting campaign scene for your game that should be interactive and pretty freaking cool looking. And that was the whole point of this entire thing. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped somebody out there. If it did, uh, leave me a comment and let me know. If you'd like to see some other tutorials or discuss other things, I'm looking for ideas because I'm just starting out and I have no idea what I want to do with this channel, really. Um, so leave me a comment, leave me a like, give me a subscribe, let me know what you thought. Um, until that next time, what ho, adventurers? This is Ancient Grimm signing off, and I will see you in the next video.